Good day everyone, I am Lance Fate Laguerta Kilnet and today I'm going to discuss about Kendall's and Marzano's new taxonomy. Before that, let me um, show to you the specific learning outcomes. At the end of the discussion, the students are able to knowledge, discuss Kendall's and Marzano's new taxonomy, skills, make a graphic organizer about the three system of new taxonomy and they a. Appreciate the importance of Kendall's and Marzano's new taxonomy. Before we continue, let me unlock first the meaning of new taxonomy. So, the new taxonomy explicitly defines the ma manner in which each of its six levels interacts with three knowledge domains. In effect, the new taxonomy is two-dimensional in nature. One is the six levels of the new taxonomy and the other is the three knowledge domains in Kendall's and Marzano's new taxonomy the three domains are the information mental procedures and psychomotor procedures so the first one or the level one in the new taxonomy is retrieval the second is comprehension analysis and the level four is the use of knowledge and these four levels are under the cognitive um, system while the um, level 5 is metacognitive system and level 6 is self system and this um, three system of new taxonomy is the self system the metacognitive system and cognitive system wherein the self system consists of an interrelated arrangement of attitudes beliefs and emotions while the metacognitive system has been described by researchers and theorists as responsible for monitoring evaluating and regulating the functioning of all other types of thoughts and lastly the cognitive system is oriented toward human skills and capabilities they can perceive and understand things draw conclusions and learn memory as shown in the picture working memory can receive data from sensory memory where it is held only briefly um, from permanent memory where it resides permanently or from both so let's um, continue to um, level one which is the retrieval under the cognitive system retrieval involves the simple recognition recall and execution of knowledge having the basic understanding of the construct of working memory we can describe retrieval as the activation and the transfer of knowledge from permanent memory to working memory where it might be consciously processed According to the new taxonomy, retrieval can have three skills. The recognizing, where we select um, from a list or determine whether, whether the provided information is accurate. Recalling, where we can exemplify name, list, or the who, what, where, and when. And executing is used to demonstrate perform uh, procedures. Level 2 is comprehension. The process of comprehension within the cognitive system is responsible for translating knowledge into a form appropriate for storage in permanent memory. Comprehension, as defined in the new taxonomy, involves two um, related processes. Integrating involves reducing knowledge down to its key parts, while the comprehension process of symbolizing involves um, depicting knowledge in some types of non-linguistic or abstract form level three is the analysis analysis processes all um, involve examining knowledge in fine detail and as a result generating new conclusions there are five analysis processes one is the matching involves identifying similarities and differences classifying refers to organizing knowledge into meaningful categories Analyzing errors involves identifying factual or logical er errors in knowledge or processing errors in the execution of knowledge. Um, generalizing, as defined in the new taxonomy, is the process of constructing new generalizations from information that is already known or observed. Specifying is the process of um, generating new applications of a known generalizations or principle, whereas the analytic um, process of generalizing is more inducive. The process of specifying tends to be more deductive in nature. 
Level 4 is the um, knowledge utilization. As the name implies, uh, the knowledge utilization process requires require the students to apply or use knowledge in, spe in specific situations. There are four knowledge application processes. Decision making involves selecting among alternatives that initially appear equal. The knowledge utilization process of problem solving involves accomplishing a goal for which obstacles or um, limiting conditions exist. Experimenting involves the generation of testing of hypotheses about a specific physical or psychological phenomenon. And last is the investigating involves examining a past, present, or future situation. The metacognition system or the metacognitive um, system has been described, and this is the level 5, described by researchers and theorists as responsible for monitoring, evaluating, and re regulating the functioning and all other types of thought. There are four categories of metacognitive processes. The metacognitive processes of specifying goals is to set specific learning goals and develop a plan for accomplishing that goals. The process monitoring is self-monitor or to monitor or to self-monitor the process of achieving a goal. Monitoring clarity is to determine how well they understand knowledge and monitoring accuracy is to determine accuracy of understanding and defend judgment. So last is the level 6, the self-system thinking. The self-system consists of an interrelated arrangement of attitudes, beliefs, and emotions. Self-system self thinking involves um, four aspects um, of skills. The first one is the self-system processes of examining importance is to analyze importance of knowledge to self. Examining efficacy, examine own beliefs to improve integration of knowledge. Ex examining emotion is to identify emotional responses associated with knowledge. And the final type of self-system thinking involves examining motivation to improve one's understanding of or competence in a specific type of knowledge. And that's it about my discussion about Kendall's and Marzano's new taxonomy. The new discussion will be reported by my other group mates.